Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take a print screen or screenshot of your computer, specifically in Windows 10. Um, there are several ways to get this done. All these methods are built into Windows, thankfully. So let's get straight into it. So the primary method you're going to use is just hitting the print screen button on your keyboard. Now, it might not actually say print screen. It could actually read out as PRTSCR, which is PERT SCRI, <laughs> if you pronounce it, but it's actually short for print screen. There's actually several ways it might be listed on your keyboard. Um, I'll list the various ways on the video description so you guys can look them up, but it's, it'll be some form of print screen or short for print screen. So if you were to simply hit that button, I just did, you'll notice nothing happens. But if you want to now edit that file or save that picture, uh, if you hit the Windows button on the bottom left of your screen, start typing paint. This is the easiest method because this is actually built in Windows, right? So if you open the Paint desktop app and you want to paste it in here, so you can hit Control V or you can just paste it from here. And as you can see, it's taking a screenshot of both my monitors. I have two of them. Now, the reason it looks distorted is because the monitor on the right side here is a 4K monitor and this smaller monitor here is actually 1080p's. But if I zoom in, it's actually quite clear, as you guys can see. So that's why mine will look a little bit strange compared to yours, perhaps. So there is another method. So let's say we want to uh, look at this. And all I want to do is take a print screen of just this window, not my entire desktop. Making sure that this window is selected in some way. So I have my mouse here, I'm moving it. So I know it's selected. On the keyboard, if I hit Alt, print screen at the same time, again, nothing happened. But if I go to paint, for example, let's shrink this down and I paste it in here. You notice it only took a screenshot of this window. So Alt print screen will take the screenshot of just the predominant window or program, whatever you're looking at. Okay, so resetting everything back to normal. Let's say you just want to take a quick print screen of just everything on your desktop. You don't really care and you want that picture to be created instantly as a JPEG file. What you would do then is hit the Windows key button on your keyboard and print screen at the same time. So you might see a little bit of a flicker. So I'm going to hit Windows print screen, it flickered. And this automatically saves in your computer. So if you go to this PC, if you want to find this PC, hit the Windows button on the bottom left, just start typing this PC. And there it is, which I'm already in. And you're looking for pictures here at the top, screenshots, and there it is. Again, mine looks weird because on the right side I have a 4K monitor, on the left I have a 1080p monitor. Now, it's the one thing I want to mention. As Microsoft continues to update Windows 10, they, they're changing a lot of the basic apps, including Paint. So if I were to search for Paint, you might not see the one I've been demonstrating. You might see Paint 3D only, which does pretty much the same thing if and more functions than this one. So the concept remains the same. So don't freak out if you don't have regular Paint and you have Paint 3D instead. So what if you want to take a, just a custom size screenshot? Well, if you hit the Windows button on the bottom left again, and you start typing snipping tool, this is what you get. This tool, if you hit new, for example, allows you to select a custom area of what you want to snip it. So let's say I just want to snip it this. There, I have it. Now I can save it as a picture from here or I can edit it if I want. Again, I have this button here to open and edit with Paint 3D, so let's do that. As you can see, this is the area that I have and I can edit it and play around with it. But if I just want to save it, I'll hit menu, save as, and then save it as an image wherever you want. And that's pretty much it. So those are several methods to take a print screen, snippet, screenshot, whatever you want to call it. And I hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.